Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Thursday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we are continuing in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 reading verses 4 to 6 from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. Lord, we're so grateful for the opportunity to come into your holy presence to pause and to reflect on your word. We pray, O oh God, that as we come and listen for your still small voice speaking to us, that you would quiet within us any voice but your own. In the name of Jesus Christ, in whose precious name we pray, amen. So 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 to 6. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. Paul is continuing on his teaching uh, regarding spiritual gifts, and he's, uh, he's reminding us in these verses that it is God through the through Holy Spirit that is at work in us. It's not us. Part of, of, as Jesus says in John chapter uh, chapter 15, apart from him, we can do nothing. Apart from God, apart from the power of Holy Spirit to work in us, we can do nothing. The gifts that we have are gifts from God. And he uses those gifts and activates those gifts for his good purpose and for his glory to build his kingdom not ours and they are not given to us so that we can boast so that we can uh, be proud of the spiritual gifts that we have so that we can use them to lord over others so that we can use them as a as a hierarchical tool to differentiate between one another who's better than the other and so Paul says there are different kinds of spiritual gifts and, and we'll get into the different kinds of spiritual gifts that Paul is talking about tomorrow but he says there are different kinds of spiritual gifts but the same spirit is the source of them all in other words, the gifts of the Spirit are just that. They are the gifts of the Spirit. And there are different kinds of spirit, uh, of gifts of the Spirit, but it is the same Spirit that, that activates them and uses them and works in and through us for His glory. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. So we receive these spiritual gifts, but they are intended for us to, to do acts of service, and those acts of service are to serve the same Lord. The spiritual gifts that we have been blessed with are, are given to us so that we can serve the Lord. And we serve the same Lord, the risen Christ. And then he says, God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. And that is a that is truth, friends. God works in different ways according to the gifts that we have been given. But he, it is God who is working in all of us. It's not us. It's God at work in us through the power of Holy Spirit. And so it's important for us to, to remember, friends, that <clears throat> just as as some have a particular spiritual gift and others have a different spiritual gift. They are all gifts of the Spirit. They are all 
equal. There is no, there is no spiritual gift that is more important than another because they are all gifts of the Spirit. They are all gifts of God. And God uses those gifts for His glory and to build His kingdom and to work in and through us. Each one of us. And it's the same Lord. It's the same Spirit. It's the same God at work in all of us. And so, friends, this day, give glory and praise to God that he has blessed you with the gift of Holy Spirit, for starters, but that he has also blessed you with spiritual gifts to use for to 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 serve him and for his glory. And you might say to yourself, well, Pastor, I don't have any spiritual gifts. Well, that's not correct. Because if you have Holy Spirit abiding in you, then Holy Spirit will activate the gifts that he has prepared for you. And those, those gifts can take on various forms. It can be gifts of prayer, hospitality, teaching, preaching. There are all manner of gifts, but one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And he is at work in us if we will seek him with our whole heart. He is at work in us with if we will pause and listen for his leading. And so don't think that you don't have a spiritual gift. You do. If Holy Spirit abides in you, you have a spiritual gift. You may not know what that spiritual gift is, but I do know the one who will reveal it to you and who will activate it to you. And so if you don't know what your spiritual gift is, seek the Lord. Ask him to, to reveal that to you and to activate it in you for his glory. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. We're so grateful, oh God, that you care so much about us, that you provide everything we need, everything that that you have prepared for us in order to serve you, to bring glory to your holy name, to build your kingdom. And so Lord, we pray that you would, you would make known to us, reveal to us and activate in us the spiritual gifts that you have blessed us with for your glory. Not, not so that we can boast or, or um, be proud of, of the fact that, that Holy Spirit abides in us, but Lord, that we would humble ourselves before you and serve you with joy and thanksgiving. And so, God, we pray that you will lead us through this day, that you will give us opportunities to bring glory to your holy name through the words we speak and the things we do. As we lift high the name of Jesus, in whose precious name we pray, amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.